need to talk quickly about dates and times. Uh, you're doing an application at the moment where you need to record the date and time that a workshop is on. So um, it's a bad idea to try to do too much by yourself. You should, where possible, use the built-in functionality with dates and times. It gets hard otherwise. So in my database here, I've my event uh, date and time is stored as a single field that, with a date time type. And um, what that looks like when I run it is I've got an event which is on a particular time here and um, I can add an event so if I add test 4 and there's it's a date picker here this is just a standard HTML date picker now it, because it's a date time um, I, I am having to type stuff in which is a bit rubbish 3.30 p.m. submit and that appears correctly here which is fine um, it's a bit ugly as it's displayed at the moment so I've done a slightly improved version where I've got the date and the time here this is adequate this is good enough and it means that you don't have to get your hands too dirty mucking around with dates and times so a quick look at what it looks like behind the scenes so um, firstly the add field is set up as an input time date time local rather than just a date so that allows you to actually pick the time as well I think that's the most sensible way to do it uh, yeah. then I've got displaying them in one of them I've just got event name and event date time and you can see over here I'm not doing anything special so when I get for example the date time from the um, from the form I just put it into a variable and then I insert it into the table and because the um, the page itself is in a date format and because the database is in a date format the in-between bits will just work and that's what you want you don't want to have to fight different date formats or anything now you notice that on the last version I'd slightly improved how it was displaying because it did look pretty ugly so I've used this dot struf time I'm not quite sure what that stands for and there's some formatting options so this was able to just say show me the month and the date and this one show me the hour and the minutes and there's a reference a handy reference guide to show you what the different bits are that you can stick into those strings to display nicely it's not perfect um, but it's good enough now you can do a lot more with dates and times and one of the things that you're going to be looking at is a user experience and make having making the user have a good experience personally I think that the way I've got this currently set up in the ad here isn't particularly good user experience this is an ugly and difficult thing to use I don't like it there are other options this one's an interesting option so I've got a date picker which then goes to be a time picker so I can say 10 40 and it's chosen that time there um, that's quite nice I guess and there's a, a bunch of other ones online it would definitely be a relatively hard thing to do and you wouldn't dream of doing this until you've got all the functionality of the rest of your website working so start with the basics like I've done here that will work and then later on you can extend this if you have the time and inclination good luck